Hey, it's Mike here, and I've seen over the past few months a few people have been like, hey, where's that website that you were talking about a while ago? And it's finally done. Plantspace.org has officially launched. I was hesitant to do it because I kept on adding research and I wanted there to be all the research on there. And then I realized that I'm always gonna keep adding research, so I might as well just go live with it. I was too excited, I couldn't wait any longer, and I saw that some of you realized that you could register already and kind of got into my secret beta testing phase, so good on you for being so sneaky. But really quick, I just wanna talk about why I made the site, what the purpose was, what my motivations were, and that starts with just creating a judgment-free forum. I realized that a lot of these other vegan sites had sort of some type of brand they were trying to sell. They were invested in a certain particular way of eating, and so when someone actually had a problem, they would just be like, oh, you know, you're not doing the diet right, and people would just get really disillusioned, and I don't wanna create that atmosphere at all. And if you can diet, yeah, you massively reduce your disease rates of all these diseases, like 70% less diabetes in vegan populations. But that still means that some people are gonna have disease. And beyond that, a lot of people are coming to this diet trying to overcome a disease that they have. That's why they're on the diet. They're still trying to figure things out. And so if we can learn from each other in that sense and not sugarcoat anything, then we will be good. And that's because I think dismissing real problems is a recipe for people failing on a vegan diet. And so the more community, the more communication we have, the less people will fail, hopefully. And speaking of community, this is not a Mike the Vegan site. If you look around, you will not see my name plastered everywhere. This is a community site for you guys. And to clarify, it is free. I am not making any money from this. I'm just spending some money on it. And maybe in the future, I'll have links to like donate to an animal sanctuary or things like that. But this is not a massive profitable site. Other main purpose of the site is that I want this to be a resource for people to learn about their body and their body's requirements, and I'll get more to that in detail on the tour of the site. And finally, I want it to be an archive for super easily digestible research. All the research I have in my videos eventually I want on there and more. So landing on the site, you will see that the homepage has undergone some minor changes. We have a real logo now, but now the best part is we have actually added accounts so you can sign in immediately on the top right. Or if you haven't signed up, you can scroll down and register. And this way you can connect your own avatar, your own little image, you can write your bio, etc. And this is really initially so you can post on the forum and then eventually it will be any other feature that we have will also be integrated into the account. As for the forum, I just threw up a few topics that I thought might be a good place to start, like recipes and health questions and things like that. And I also did a post about how to post images and GIFs of things like baby animals, which I find crucial to this site. But if there are any other categories, any overarching topics that should be on the main forum web page, feel free to let me know. As more posts go on, it would be awesome if anybody wants to volunteer to be a moderator when the time comes. Final point for those who are searching for health answers that don't find simple answers on the forum, they can scroll all the way down and there is a link to a site that searches for plant-based doctors near you on a map. Yeah, I know you're probably like a thousand miles from the nearest one, but in time there will be more or you can become one. Do it. And I also wanna say, if you are registering in your username, it would be awesome if you have some type of expertise to do something like Jane eats plants in parentheses, biologist, or in parentheses, doctor, or PhD, or whatever, so we can have some experts on there sort of answering some questions if you want to. And this is sort of for me to test whether it's possible to create a sort of vegan crowd med situation here. Crowd med is a site where you type in your ailment and then you send it off to a massive amount of experts. I'm gonna turn the hands down, I'm just a little excited. And then the experts reply with what they believe you might have as an ailment, request tests, things like that. And I think that would be a great thing for vegans because right now we have nothing like that. All right, let's take a look at the diet lab. The diet lab has sort of three main sections. The first one is a caloric needs calculator where you can calculate how many calories your body burns at rest based off how tall you are, how old you are, things like that. And then add your activity and it'll give you your total needs. And thanks to Veganism Unspun, I have added a metric version so you don't end up typing in your weight in kilograms and then you have the caloric needs of a baby or something. So. Totally easy now. The second part is a basic plant space food journal. This is best used in Excel spreadsheets. I know most of you or a lot of you probably don't have that, but in Google spreadsheets, which is free, 
Sadly, these little check marks that I added for refined foods don't show up, and those check marks at the end of the week will be factored into the equation of the total amount of whole foods that you ate if you're shooting for that. They also factor into equations in the background where if you say in the morning, maybe I had poor sleep one day and the night before I had a bunch of processed foods, it might make an observation that there is a connection and there's a few of those observations on there. And those will only work in Excel, sadly, for now. The final part of the diet lab is not plantspace.org at all. It's go over to chronometer. Again, it's free. You can simply look at nutrients of all these foods you eat and learn about them. I think it's a great resource, not even just for tracking calories, but just for like typing in a potato and seeing what's actually in it. All right, now to the research section. There are three arms of the research section. There is the health, there is the environmental, and there is the animal benefits. The animal benefits and the environmental haven't changed that much since I last showed the site, but I will add more. The health studies, however, I have separated into different categories, as you can see here. I still need to finish a couple of these, but for example, click on the diabetes section. There will be a write-up about diabetes. Click on the cancer section. There'll be a write-up about cancer. And any claim should have a blue link right to this study. In addition to these three sections, I've added something that I'm very excited about that I've been meaning to do for a long time, and that is my facts section. And this is a general section, so it starts with vegan health, and it goes claim by claim. Anything that's blue is a link directly to a study or the source, and so I'll have the claim in blue, and then occasionally I'll expound upon it in gray below. But that's just claim after claim after claim, and then you scroll down and you'll reach animal and environmental sections, which I will keep on adding more and more research to. Too. So that's it for the specific pages I want to look at. I also want to mention that the site itself in general is pretty mobile friendly. There are still some pages I need to work on, but you can do that as well. All right, I also want to thank Christina and Mark, a graphic designer and a web developer from Brooklyn for helping me over these last few weeks finish it up or get it to this point. They started a Slack group called Peanut Butter Vibes, which is essentially a 24-7 online hangout thing where you can talk about vegan stuff, and that will be linked in the description below. All right, so feel free to go check out the site. I would really like to know if you have any suggestions for other features that would be cool to add at some point in the future, if possible. Hopefully the site won't crash because I'm not exactly sure if the bandwidth can handle it, but <laughs> if it's up, you know you're good. All right. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.